Hi guys, my name's Sherelle and I'm the founder of Black Greeting Cards and Stationery brand, Kitchen Noir. Today I'll be showing you how you can use lists to bring your future into your present, giving you the chance to do something about tomorrow, today. Your most powerful abilities to overcome procrastination are your abilities to think, plan and decide. If you know anything about me or the brand Kitchen Noir, you'll know I'm all about organisation and good old pen to paper. For me, nothing beats the feel of whipping out a brand new clean notepad and starting a fresh new list. The smell of new paper, the physical feel of a good quality notepad, and the sheer satisfaction of ticking things off my list. Oh, don't get me started. So let me show you how I plan. I use four types of lists to help me reach my goals, make plans, and increase my productivity. Lists are so great because they only need to take 10 to 12 minutes to create, but will end up saving you an average of two hours or more per week. If you feel like you're always failing to meet your deadlines or seem to be rushing around when an important event draws close, this may be because you've not made a plan previously. This theory goes in line with the 6P formula. Proper, prior, planning, prevents, poor performance. The first list I use is the A and E list. This stands for anything and everything. I call it this because I literally put down anything and everything on this list. From emptying the bins, to starting a new design project, to sending out emails, to calling my mum. It all goes on this list. Physically getting it out onto paper honestly helps my mind to feel so much less clogged up and overwhelmed. Once that's done, I already feel a hundred times better. Of course you can do this on any old piece of paper, but why would you want to when you have the option of ordering such gorgeous, great quality paper with beautiful, representational designs on that are hand-drawn by me? I've created many different versions of this list, so feel free to check out the link in the description. The second list I love is the monthly planner. I use this list at the end of every month to plan the month ahead. I'll basically take to-dos off this list and transfer them onto the monthly planner. Again, this really helps me put my mind at rest and helps me to separate the not so urgent tasks from the extremely important tasks. And I already feel like I'm crossing tasks off this way. The third list is the weekly list. Here's where you need to start inputting those slightly more important tasks and are able to plan your entire week ahead. I always have a hot date penciled in with this baby every Sunday. Then Monday is like, boom, all systems go. Ticking tasks off your list helps give you that momentum throughout the week and gives you that visual picture of accomplishment. The weekly planners are available in A4 and A5 size with different characters on, so you can just pick whichever one tickles your fancy. And now for my favourite list, the daily planner. Simply use your weekly planner, go to the according day and transfer that list onto your daily planner. The key to this list is being specific and realistic. Here's where we add the most mundane of tasks, like Zoom calls, popping to the shops or exercising. Sometimes we don't add these onto our list because we see them as quick tasks, when really they do take up quite a lot of our time. So obviously I'm a list fanatic, but I really do personally use them every single day of the week, guys. But if they're not for you, perhaps try starting off with just one. My favorite one to start off with would probably be the weekly planner. As I said, I religiously use this every Sunday and it really helps me to stay productive throughout the week. However, if you did want to purchase all of them, you get a cheeky bundle discount when you purchase any four on the website. Remember, there's no such thing as being too organised and as cliche as it may sound, when you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Wishing you all the success and productivity for the upcoming week. I really hope you liked this video. If you do, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys, bye.